Hi you guys, this is Shayla with Shayla at Home, and I know, I know, it has been a while, so I apologize for that, um, and I will have time to tell you guys in videos coming forward what has been going on with me, but I just wanted to give you a short synopsis um, of where I've been, why I've been MIA on YouTube, um, just as briefly as I can, and there's really no way to do this the whole story justice without telling the whole story but um, for the purposes of this video and just updating you guys um, quickly I'm just gonna keep it brief um, so first things first um, Monday which is August the 4th my family and I will be relocating to Arkansas which is my hometown where I was born and raised and um, like I said there's so much that goes with the story but um, just to update you guys on that because the videos come forward the scenery um, things I talk about and probably things I share will be different so then it'll come together it'll make sense so you're not you know completely lost and left out um, as the story goes on um, things here for my husband job wise just have been topsy-turvy really crazy um, as you guys know his grandmother passed away uh, last month and we went to Louisiana all was well at that time because he had taken leave from his job even though he had not been there very long um, he was told that you know he could come back he would just have to start over because they were in the middle of a uh, training and he could not miss any days from that so being the circumstances was um, unfortunate and um, there's not much you could do about someone passing in his family and um, him you know not sacrificing missing the funeral which who would um, you know he chose to go ahead and take the leave and come back to his job in two weeks well, two weeks came and passed and no word from his job, even though he was in constant contact with one of the uh, HR or training people there. And they kept saying, you know, somebody will call you, somebody will call you, the person that's supposed to call you. And so his day to go back came and went. Another couple of weeks went by and, you know, we really were okay because I had some other um, financial things going on that was, you know, fine. You know, we were able to make it out for that. Um, and then those things started to fall apart. And so basically... Um, everything that we depended on financially fell from under from under us pretty much everything except for I do have a part-time job that I do from home um, that I still have and that's fine and then of course you guys know I am in DS domination a business um, that I'm in that was all fine um, but even just some weird things started to happen overall and so we had to really stop and take a look and notice that we had no control over the situation and um, as you guys know I am a God fearing person I truly believe um, in Jesus in God and that's pretty much what kept me afloat um, because there were mornings where I woke up and I just did not want to be here seriously literally just woke up wondering why am I here it would be so much easier if I was not here my husband could take the girls um, you know go with his mom and his mom could help him raise the girls and things life would just be so much better that is the space that I was in because literally when I say things did a 360 in a short period of time I am not joking you our lives literally changed over a three-day period everything fell from under us and when I say everything and we're talking financial stuff you can imagine the strain that that causes um, some things that I was depending on from some private clients that I had those things fell apart like just out of nowhere you never even we never seen it coming um, when my husband finally found out about his job and found out the person that was supposed to be calling him back all these weeks didn't even work at the job anymore and nobody even would tell him that um, until he actually went up there and found that out and then that just made a whole nother world st uh, storm. Um, so just several, several things and um, so many good things were happening um, here um, in Georgia from the fact that we were in the process of trying to get a home um, and that of course couldn't work out uh, with income things decreasing it just was it was a mess and um, I'm able to sit here and this is how I know God has complete control because I'm able to sit here on camera and tell you guys what has been going on in our lives um, without shedding tears because there were days where I could not get on the phone I could not do anything and have a conversation of any nature about what was going on because I was just a mess a ball of tears snotting and coughing and just, just it was just horrible 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 and so I spent a lot of time in prayer I'm still in prayer because I do not believe the storm is completely over um, we are getting some relief we are going to go home to Arkansas I have family there uh, in, in particular um, that we will be living with so that takes a lot of the pressure off. Um, kids are going to be starting school soon. Um, we just have a lot of things we're trying to get in order. And I tell you guys this one because, of course, you know, I try to keep it 100. And um, not being on camera and not coming to you guys for a while, I just had to get myself together. It's um, 
a delay in sharing what's been going on but i had to be able to present it to you the right way because there is such a big testimony in all of this although it's been hardship although it's been some of the worst times i've ever experienced in my married life i mean i've been through a lot and if you for those of you guys that know and that have read my book you know i have been and seen some things even at an early age um that a person should never have to experience or deal with or see but um I've, I've been there and so for me to say this is the worst time in my life um, my married life yes but just overall thinking this is the worst time in my life this is one of the worst things I've ever experienced um, just a financial collapse um, although there were still things working for me of course when you're going through a storm you don't necessarily recognize the good and it's hard to sit back and say okay I'm grateful for this I'm grateful for that um, I had some very very close people really reach out and kind of massage me through the situation because I was numb at times I mean really numb and I was able to just say this is how I feel today is not a good day um, and it was literally you know day back to back can you just imagine um, having somebody come and knock on your door and say you have to move having somebody come and knock on your door the very next day and saying hey we're gonna take your car having somebody um, basically say you know we're paying you fifteen hundred dollars a month now we just decide we don't want to even though you're in contract i mean can you imagine all of that happening back to back to back to back like one day this the next day this so before i could come up for air before we could breathe the next day something else happened and that's just a small synopsis of what's been going on i just wanted to update you guys um and like i said me being able to even get on camera and talk to you guys without shedding a tear speaks volumes of who God is. I still don't understand. I still don't know the why. I question it. Um, my stepmom and I have talked and I'm like, well, what did I do to anybody? What did I not do for somebody that caused all of this to happen? And I know many people around me that, you know, a thousand dollars in that instance could have changed my life. But every which turn, every which direction that that money could have possibly came from failed me at that particular time it didn't matter how hard I tried how hard I you know was doing what I needed to do to make it work um, no matter who knew what was going on that money just was not coming and I know people um, that really could have just really handed it to me and that's not even the point that I wanted them to do that and again that's not even what God wanted um, that to me would have been the easy way out and at the time of course it didn't seem like that to me I didn't care about an easy way out I just wanted a way out but in hindsight now seeing and looking back it just wasn't meant to work out like that and God has something greater that he is trying to show us um, I can definitely say this is a humbling experience it's a humbling time um, we have truly seen um, that anything is possible for anybody good or bad that one thing that I kept repeating through the storm is that I never in a million years would imagine that I would have to be dealing with homelessness like I would have to be dealing with where are my kids gonna lay their head like literally that was a constant concern for a couple of weeks although we were in the process of buying a new home and when everything financially started to fall apart that dream um, was no longer a reality and so can you just imagine in the process of buying a home to being homeless like where does that happen well it happened to me it happened to my family and like I said I will give you guys more details when I have a chance to really sit down and maybe even put it into a series of events so it makes more sense and not even just you know I'm a hundred percent but it's not even about just sharing it to share it it's about this experience can possibly help somebody else to realize we are not exempt and we must always be prepared um, and there's a lot of things that we did not do in our former um, existence before Georgia way before Georgia um, that could have prevented the situation um, and even then who's to say you know God just wanted it to be um, and again I don't know all the answers I don't know all the whys I just know that I'm here I'm better today than I was yesterday we are still striving we are still um, thriving we are still making it my kids have not missed a meal um, I had to do some things that I did not want to do that I never imagined that I would want to do or would have to do um, in order to survive. Um, nothing illegal, uh, but it was just some things that were really a humbling experience and an ego um, diffuser. So, um, and the lastly, I just want to say there were a lot of things that I lied to myself about. I believed um, in life and in business that were just not true. And I just wanted them to be and they were not. And so I had to come to a... Uh, conclusion that um, some things were just in my mind in my my thought process a lot and once I let those things go and open my eyes up to know that I am not exempt from anything anything 
anything can happen to anyone at any moment. And once I let that go, I felt relief. Um, like I said, we will be moving to Arkansas next week. Um, and I'll probably do some footage as we travel, um, like I always do when we're on the road. Um, and that in itself is a humbling experience. Never in a million years did I imagine I would be going back home to live. I haven't been home to visit in three, four years maybe. So actually going home to live is a story all in its own. So you guys will get to see and meet family of mine and we'll see what happens on that journey i'm just asking you guys keep my family in your prayers i will be praying for all of my viewers all the youtubers all my facebook friends um and just we'll see what happens something is stirring god is doing something great out of all of this something great exceptionally great will come and i hope that this touches somebody even though it's in spurts and it's very sporadic and it's not the full story um I will get to that, but um, I'm just hoping this video, whatever parts um, that need to, will touch those that it needs to touch and that somebody will see um, some light at the end of the tunnel if you're going through anything. Just trust God and love yourself. Until next time, this is Shayla with Shayla at Home, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for continuing to subscribe. Welcome to all my new subscribers, and thank you guys for sticking with me. Um, thank you for your prayers for those of you that have already reached out. And um, I just appreciate you. I really, really do. And we're going back to Arkansas. So we'll see what happens on this new journey. All right. Until next time. I love you for watching. Bye-bye.